Hi everyone, Alex with Beam It Up. Today we're going to be talking about central models. This is more of a beginner's topic. So to my intermediate and advanced users, just be a little patient. Not everyone had the opportunity to start Revit as early as you did. So let's imagine that you already have a central model, a building in your server, okay? We're gonna get into details in another video, but for now, just assume that your central model has already been saved in your server, right? And two people wanna work on it, right? So Alex wants to work on it and his local computer. And what happens is that if Alex tries to open that central model, uh, what Revit does is it creates a local copy in Alex's computer so that Alex can work on it. And what this allows us to do is that if Joe wants to work in that file as well, then Revit can download also a local copy for, for Joe to work on, right? So, you know, Alex will be working in his local copy and at the same time, Joe is working in his local copy. Now, what happens is that every once in a while, whether it's scheduled or manual, uh, you hit this synchronize with central button in the Revit interface. We're gonna see that in a little bit. And then what's gonna happen is that a Revit is gonna save in Joe's local computer, a copy of his local file. It's going to upload all the information that relates to any changes that Joe did in his model. And it's gonna download anything that was modified in the central model. And it's gonna save one more time in Joe's computer. So similarly, if Alex goes ahead and synchronize with Central, what happens is that Revit saves a local copy uh, in Alex's computer, then it uploads all the changes that Alex did, it downloads all the information that's contained in the Central model, including what Joe just uploaded, and then it's gonna save one more time. And if you have any questions on this, just leave a comment and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay, let's go into Revit. Now let's say I wanna open a, what's called a central model. Let's uh, explore that concept. If I go file, open, and then here I go down to my testing project. This is the one I used throughout the tutorial. When I click open, what's happening is that I am not really opening that central model. That's located somewhere in my server. What Revit is doing is creating a local copy of that model so that I can work on it. And then what happens is that whatever I modify in this model, I'm modifying in a local model then all my changes live here in this local model until I hit this button here that says synchronize. And then when I click that, what happens is that a Revit is gonna save the local copy, upload all my information into that central model, and then it's gonna download it one more time and save the local copy again. We'll see that in a, in a later video. And what that allows me to do is to work on the same project with several other engineers. So all this to say, just remember that when I'm opening a central model, I'm not really opening the central model. I'm creating a local copy and I'm working on that local copy. If I try to open this model again, let's, let's see what happens. Now, if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at beamitup.com. At beamitup.com, we offer professional training on mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and fire protection systems. And we can also train you, obviously, in Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. So go ahead and visit us at beamitup.com or contact us directly at the email you see on the screen and let us know how we can help you get professionally developed. Let me close out of it. And now I'm gonna go open. So I'm gonna select my project, I'm gonna click open. I notice that I'm getting this message here. It's telling me that you're trying to create a new local copy with the same name as one that already exists. What do you want to do? So this is basically just telling me that I already had down here in my local folder a file 
that is going to have the same name than the one I'm trying to create now. So I can just click overwrite existing copy and that will overwrite my previously created local copy. Uh, or I could also say append timestamp to existing copy. And what that does is it creates another local copy here with a timestamp. And if you're enjoying the content, there are many ways you can support it. You can like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment down there. You can spread the word, you know, share it with your coworkers and relevant social media. You can join our Patreon community at the address listed on the screen. It's also in the description. And if you know any small MVP firms that could use BIM implementation services, you can recommend me. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.